Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When the uh, regional municipality of Wood Buffalo rapidly evacuated its 80,000 residents from Fort McMurray, many vulnerable people were part of that number. Seniors, for instance, are a group that we are particularly concerned about, and that includes those who reside in the local lodge, as well as seniors who are able to live independently with assistance from the community and home care. So to the seniors, Minister, how are you monitoring the vulnerable seniors who had to flee and are now dispersed around Alberta? Honourable Minister of Seniors and Health. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member for the question. I met with uh, Cynthia Woodford, of the, the Vice President of Property Services with the Wood Buffalo Housing and Development Corporation, and uh, I can assure you that they uh, did an excellent job evacuating and supporting the seniors. There were 67 seniors living in four Fort McMurray and Anzac facilities, and they were evacuated with family and with our staff. Most are now with friends and family. The Eagle Found Hill Foundation and the Sturgeon Foundation have graciously offered to house some seniors in their facilities, so seniors are being well taken care of. Mr. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Uh, given that seniors with uh, challenges may not be able to wait for hours and lineups for the financial assistance that the government finally began to offering yesterday, and given that people with physical challenges and parents with children may also have trouble waiting for hours and lineups for this assistance, to whomever the minister is responsible for this, what arrangements have you made for everyone with unique circumstances for obtaining assistance without a long wait? Wow. Good one. Minister, Municipal Affairs. Minister of Human Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, uh, Member, for the important question. Uh, we have made arrangements that uh, vulnerable people, uh, such as seniors and those people with mobility challenges, they do not have to wait in the line. Our staff is working with them to make sure <coughs> the support is provided to them uh, where they are and they don't have to stand in the lines. Second supplemental. Mr. Speaker, uh, given that the existence of the Centre of Hope, which uh, supports the homeless people of Fort McMurray, indicates there are high-risk residents in Alberta's northern city, and given that homeless residents would also have fled during the evacuation, but these people do not have the same level of support as other evacuated citizens, many of whom have the option of staying with family and friends. So to the Minister of Human Services, how is your ministry monitoring these vulnerable residents to ensure they have support wherever they are? Thank you. Honourable Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Member, for the question. Human Services is taking uh, part in this response in four ways. One, it's managing those financial benefits. Second, it's uh, providing supports uh, along with Provincial Operations Centre. Third, it is providing provincial uh, emergency social services. And fourth, it is focusing on continuing the business as usual. So with the combination of all these, we are working with all population that deserves and needs government support to make sure that their sports are met. Thank you, Honourable Minister. 